Hello everyone. So today I woke up with just a few insights and energy communication with the nine, picking things up. And so I um, wrote up seven short statuses for social media, just based on what was coming through. So I'd like to read these to you. Uh, so this is really for anyone who doesn't follow me on any of the social media sites. If you do follow me on social media, you will have probably, or you may have probably come across these statuses. But for those who don't follow me, I'd like to read them out to you. So here's the first one. This is based on a question someone asked me, and I have um, changed the wording and presented this in story form, metaphor, code for this, st for this particular status. Magenta, is it true that the Lady Melanina will leave King Donald once he is forced to give up his crown? My reply to this is, yet another illusion, a fake arrow thrown at the king. The story is that his knights are deserting him along with his wife. It's not enough to steal his crown, they want to destroy him and see him a broken man along with all his loyal subjects. He will never be forced to give up his crown. Like all heroes, he will emerge victorious with his lady by his side. So that's the first status. Second one is very short and simply says, disinformation is not always released to mislead light workers and the truth community. It is released to mislead and misdirect other factions. Trust. What is going on behind the scenes is phenomenal. So apologies that I cannot say any more about that at this point, but that's information I received today. So the next fairly short status is this. All the celebrities that you have loved, admired and followed over the years are now coming out of the shadows for they feel it is now necessary and safe to do so. As they close ranks and step forward, you shall now see who is who. Mistakes, from their perspective, have been and will be made. The smooth operation is not as smooth as they believe it is. These mistakes will be the bricks in the wall that will trigger the collapse of the castle. And this is the next status, a little bit longer. Negative Kali attempts to rise in disguise as the true divine feminine light. This is the most distorted presentation of frequency, yet, as it targets the heart of Gaia. It targets our twin flame frequencies and our children directly. Do not confuse this with positive Kali, who is the loving wise woman with heart. Both, you, both negative Kali and positive Kali both hold swords. One uses their sword to knight another, the other uses it to kill. Please know the difference, light workers. Even spiritual leaders with big followings are being misled. Negative Kali is very good at disguise, but if you hold the true divine feminine embodiment yourself, regardless of your actual physical gender, you will know who is who and you will see. That's a very important one. And that stands for the next few weeks, for the rest of this year, certainly, and potentially further into next year. Very, very important. Okay, this is the next status I wrote. Light workers, truth warriors and patriots. Please know that through your service to others' frequency, you are programmed to help and advise, especially when asked questions. Please know that the service to self-operatives 
are using your compassion and service, which they see as weakness, to target and profile you, to build a digital image of you that they can use as ammunition later. They are currently out in full force, asking questions, pretending to be innocent newbies who need your help. Please be aware of the energetic frequency of whom you are speaking to when you willingly potentially incriminate yourself in this way. Yet it is important to remember that genuine newly awakened newbies are out there too asking the very same questions. Knowing who is who is therefore crucial before you comment. Frequency is everything. And here is the next status, this one somewhat longer and based on a question. Magenta, I don't believe in war or division. Isn't our path about unity? Your comments lately seem to be divisive and you suggest we are in a war. Please explain. And here is my reply. No spiritually aware individual believes in war. But if we throw down our swords and project love and light only, we will be crushed. This is why we are light warriors. We are unified in the fifth dimension, 5D. In our hearts and with one another in that 5D light family. Yet we share our planetary space with those who hold the opposite frequency to us. The planetary and galactic polarities are breaking down in order that we manifest a higher polarity on this planet, the fifth dimension, 5D. This does not just happen in an airy fairy dreamlike state, it's happening in the physical world. We will need to enter extreme polarity before the polarity fields can break down. This is due to the fact that the service to self individuals are in extreme, and I mean extreme, resistance to the raising of polarity, 5D and ascension. They cannot sustain within that reality, so they are in a battle for their very souls, literally. Their structure is finite and is coming to an end. So whilst I am all about love, light and unity, I also understand the battle, the polarity and the division that must come in order to break the old order. I therefore will not be putting down my sword and I join with other indigo warriors and patriots across the world in united consciousness as we together take down the last vestiges of the beast with love. My spirituality is not fluffy bunny, rainbows and unicorns, much as I adore those things. Now there will be plenty of time for them when we get to 5D New Earth and we can have fluffy bunnies, rainbows and unicorns now. But in the meantime, before we fully manifest New Earth 5D, we stand strong against oppression, tyranny and corruption and we stand united for truth. The flaming indigo sword in our hands, the golden shield of bliss covering our beings as a canopy. I have, am and will continue to speak only the truth and nothing but the truth. And here is, I believe, this is the last, yeah, this is the last status that I wrote on social media today. They are closing ranks now on every level to secure the Blue America win story as fact. They know DT will fight this and the Patriots across the world are right behind him, with him. Risk of new world war is a huge threat or message. They are saying, mess with us and we will instigate war. 
DT, the Alliance and the Patriots worldwide, will stand strong and will not cave to these threats. And that is all they are, threats. That is not in the timeline. We are still on the Ascension timeline. We are now entering the very highest point of the war on consciousness. Truth will ultimately win, of that there is no doubt. The blue America win story, the economic disaster, and the pathogen, pathogen and germ narrative will all come crashing down as the truth is presented to the world. From now till the end of the year, things will be more intense and more bitter than ever from that perspective. That does not mean that New Earth 5D is not there also. They will fight to the death, literally, to keep their deep state win, to preserve it. In the meantime, DT is still the president. Stand strong, do not waver, united we stand. I am Magenta Pixie, thank you for listening.